Hi, today we're going to be talking about the CPU. Now what's the CPU? That's the central processing unit. Those are what CPUs are. I'm holding them up to the screen right now. That's the back plate. They're little gold uh, circles. That's where the pins will align from the motherboard, but that's for a different video. Now what's the CPU? The CPU is the centralized processing unit of a computer. It's basically where all the instructions from the different components come together and then it gets told what to do. It's kind of like the engine to a car. You can have all the different parts of a car, the drivetrain, the transmission, um, the wheels, but without the engine, they don't know what to do. The CPU is the engine in our case. It kind of instructs all the parts, hey, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. Um, this is how this is how you guys work together to accomplish a task. Uh, of course, referring to the different parts. Now, very much so, just like an engine, CPUs get very hot. So we have this thing called thermal grease or thermal paste, as I'm holding up right now. It basically helps the CPU cool down, and we're gonna get more into CPU cooling in a different video. CPUs get very hot because of how much instructions that they're taking in, and because of their extreme temperatures, we need ways to cool them down. Of course, we'll get a little more into that in um, the video about CPU coolers, but let's talk more about the CPUs in general. Now we're going to go through a very quick preview of the chip series. Um, Intel has the i3, i5, i7, i9. Ryzen has the Ryzen 3, 5, 7, and 9. This is basically just the higher number you go, the stronger the processor is in a sense. Um, this is an Intel processor, but they all processors have different clock speeds, um, how many gigahertz they can clock, how smooth they run, how many cores they have. There's a lot more detailed videos. Uh, I'm not going to go too, more, too much into detail, but let's get into the installation part right now. So you're going to go ahead and take that triangle and link it up to that side that has the chip for that triangle. You can also see in the uh, bottom right corner there was a little bit of a dent that was perfectly aligned. Now make sure that you get the clamping mechanism down and holding the CPU properly so that it's secured and all the sockets are properly in place. Um, we'll get into the CPU cooler soon. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today for the CPU.